other they interact with each other and coexist in the environment now let us discuss on plants plants are a very important part of our environment and they play a crucial role they give us oxygen carbon dioxide they make their own food using sunlight carbon dioxide from the air and water from the soil by the growth by the process of photosynthesis now let us discuss on animals animals unlike plants animals cannot make their own food they depend on plants and other animals for their food animals take in oxygen and release carbon dioxide into the air animals also need water for drinking and bathing in this way they are dependent on non living components of the environment now let's discuss on microorganism microorganism are small living beings that we cannot see in our naked eyes we need special equipment like a microscope to see them these microorganism grow in dead remains of plants and animals they mix with the soil and provide the soil with nutrients making the soil fertile for plants to grow example of microorganism is fungi bacteria etc these living organism can be further categorized into the following group number 1 producers producers living organisms that can prepare their own food are called producers plants are the only living beings that can produce their own food so they are called producers they prepare their own food through the process of photosynthesis now let us discuss on number 2 consumers the living organisms that feed on plants and other living organisms are called consumers they cannot prepare their own food all animals are consumers and are further classified into the following types number a herbivores number b carnivores number c omnivores and number d scavengers they are classified into the four types so let us discuss on herbivores herbivores animals that eat only plants are known as herbivores for example deer buffalo goat zebra cow etc they eat plants birds like leaves roots fruits birds and grass for this reason herbivores have very sharp and strong teeth to chew their food now let us discuss on carnivores the animals that eat flesh of other animals are known as carnivores for example example of carnivores are lion tiger leopard and wolf they have sharp teeth and close to tear the flesh there are also flesh eating birds such as eagle and they also have sharp claws to catch their prey and special hook beaks to tear off the flesh now let us discuss on omnivores the animals that eat both plants and animals are known as omnivores example bear dragon and birds like 
grow and wood packer let us discuss on scavengers they are sub carnivores and omnivores they do not hunt other plants and animals but they feed on dead plants and animals these animals are not as scavengers they have been keeping the environment as they eat the dead bodies of animals example of scavengers are vultures and hyenas now let us discuss on number 3 decomposers decomposers are organisms that break down dead and decaying organisms when the We can also say that all animals depend upon plants, a 
either directly or indirectly for food. Now let us discuss on balance in nature. All living beings are important to maintain a balance in nature. If only herbivores exist, there will not be enough plants to feed them. If herbivores are less in population, carnivores will not have food to eat and will die of starvation. Therefore, if once species gets instinct, the entire food chain will be disturbed as living things are interconnected to each other. Therefore, we need to make sure balance in nature as also as all plants and animals are essential air or important. Now we will discuss on causes of imbalance in nature. However, there are many external forces that comes imbalance in nature. Number one, hunting by hunting. Animals are hunted for their skin, meat, bones. Due to this, many animals are extinct and some are endangered. This causes disturbance in the food chain. They are killed for making clothes, bags, medicines, decorative items, etc. which result to ex excessive hunting as demand for these items are more in the market. This killing of animals is called poaching. Number two, forest fire. Let's discuss on forest fire. Forest fires occurs due to volcanic eruption or lightning, but it is also caused by human activities. Forest fires leads to killing of all living organisms present in it and it destroys the homes of animals. Number three, deforestation. Let us discuss on deforestation. Many wild animals live in forests like polar bear, monkey, spend most of their time on trees. Many, many animals also depend on forests for their food. But today we see that many forest areas are clear and many trees are cut down for buildings, homes, factories for creating towns and cities. This causes imbalance in nature. As animals lose their homes, they don't have enough food to eat and it will soon affect the food chain and will result in the extinction of other animals. Students, now let us discuss on pollution. What is pollution? Addition of harmful substances in the environment is called pollution. Human beings cut trees and destroy forests which produce oxygen for us. We build factories that produce lots of harmful gases and causes air pollution. We also use lots of packet food items and pollute the soil as well as ocean. This pollution of air, water and land have created a big problem as our earth does not have clean air to breathe. In some places there is garbage in ocean which leads to that of aquatic animals and we pollute our land by chemical and plastic waste. Therefore, children, you should all remember that your everyday actions should, should focus on creating less harm or less pollution and you can do this by following habits like throwing plastic in the dustbin instead of throwing on the roadside. You should also not waste papers as they are made from wood and and for these lots of trees are cut down, causing many animals homeless. 
students i hope you all understood today's lesson please do visit the school website and copy all the notes from this chapter study hard take care stay home thank you